Now let's start implementing this widget over here and once the user press on this icon a dialog will appear and allow the user to pick an image or take an image through the camera. So let's get started. So for that let's initialize a new widget in here and as you can see it is actually a stack. So let's initialize a stack in here, give it children, add a comma in here and the first child will be a container for this widget so in here a container and let's give it a margin of edge and sets and I will give it a symmetric margin from top and bottom 30 and horizontal also 30 now as a child to add this border I will initialize to circle avatar or you can just add a decoration and add a border for this container but I will choose the circle avatar method and I'll show you how so in here let's give it a child as I said a circle avatar and let's give it a radius of 71 and a background color I will choose the color const dot gradient l and this one and as a child for the circle avatar we need to give it another circle avatar which is has a smaller radius and I will choose 65 and now this one we need to add the image so for example I will take an image in here So here it is, the image now appeared in here. So we need to add a background image. Once the user pick a file, place it in here. So we need to do a check for this file. For that, I will initialize a file in here. So let's say file underscore picked image. Let's fix this. And we need to import dart.io or HTML. I will import dart io and in here we can do a small check on this picked image and it check if it is null we show nothing but if it is found so we can choose file image and give it the file which is the file that we just initialize it up there and I still got an error in here that's because we need to initialize a background image not a color in here so just like this now let's go back to our application and save it so here it is now if you want for example to change this border for example you can change this radius or this radius for example if I choose 17 here and save it the border become smaller but I prefer to keep it like this. Now let's start adding this button in here. So let's go back to our application and under of this container let's initialize a new widget and now we need to choose the position widget to do the position and place it at the bottom right of this container in here. So this position will take a row material button to it to add some attributes for it to do the school shape just like this one and let's add a top for it and I will add left for it and this will do the trick and place it in here if you want to place it somewhere else you can just change those two arguments or add the bottom or the right for it now we need to add some arguments for this row material button so in here I will add elevation for it and choose 10 and we can choose the field color for it so I will choose the colors const dot gradient l and also 
and we need to give it this child the icon so in here a child and initialize an icon which is the add a photo icon just like this now let's go back to our application and save it so here it is so you still need to add a few arguments to it so below the icon we can initialize padding of edge and set dot all and give it value of 15 and to do this shape circle we can just add a shape in here and choose circle border shape just like this so here it is I will choose 110 in here it looks better now now there's something still missing from it which is the on pressed which is a required argument for it so let's add it and save it now so now this button is pressable now this on pressed button will do something so in here once we press it a dialog will appear so let's start implementing it so in here we need to add the method show dialog and we need to give it a builder which is the context so let's say in here build context and give it the context just like this let's add a semicolon in here and in here we need to return an alert dialog or you can just return a dialog but I will choose alert dialog in here so as a title we need to add this choose option title so in here let's add title and initialize a text and say choose option and let's do some styling for it so style of text style and let's uh, add a font weight actually for it so in here font weight and I will choose font weight of can choose 600 for example and let's add the color and say colors const dot gradient start let's save it and go back to our application press on it here it is now let's add the contents for it so below this text in here we need to add the contents and we can do it as a list body that so take children and we need to initialize each one of these buttons in here so I prefer to do an equal in here and give it a splash color and here I will choose the colors dot purple accent and this inkwell will take a child which is a row to add this text beside this icon in here so let's add them so in here let's add this icon and it's a camera icon that has a color of purple color so I will also choose the purple accent color and let's save it now go back press it again we get an error okay so let's start the app again and we need to do something to fix this error we can just wrap this list body by a single child scroll view so let's try it and save it again go back to the sign up screen and press it so here it is I will add some padding in here for it and below of this icon we need to add or below of this padding we need to add the text now so in here let's add text and let's say in here camera 
we need to do some styling for it so add style and in here text style as usual and we can add the font size for it I will choose 18 and let's choose the color of title color mm, title color just like this or we can just keep it as it is let's give it a try so here it is let's add a font weight for it and I will choose font weight of 500 here it is now we need to add the on top for this inkwell which is I will implement it soon and we can do this as a dynamic method and pass in the title and pass in the icon but I will not do it to save some time I will just copy it and paste it th three times but I recommend you to do it and it will be a good practice for you so like this and here it will be remove and remove icon for example and in here it will be the gallery let's save it and we need to change the camera icon in here and choose actually we can choose the image icon in here like this I will save it it's right now here it is I'm not satisfied with the remove icon so I will change it we can choose the remove circle in here here it is we can change this to red color and let's try it now here it is and let's change this color in here also let's save it try it now here it is so now we need to do the methods for it